Hello everyone, today we are in uh, Farlington Marshes in Portsmouth and uh, haven't come here to photograph anything specific I'm more here to uh, test the video capabilities of the camera and see how it goes and um, yeah, uh, let's hope we're gonna have a good day There's a uh, small rabbit sitting down there. Uh, let's see if you can guys see it. With the Olympus you have quite a few modes in which you can film. Uh, you can do a uh, slow motion which is 120 frames per second uh, but it's a manual focus and that is in uh, full HD. Uh, you have a 4K 30p and a C4K in 24p and you also have the uh, 60p in full HD and, and different qualities. Um, I mainly use the 4K 30p and the uh, the slow motion. And uh, the downside of the slow motion is that it's a manual focus. So focus peaking here is actually the best uh, assist I can have for manual focus. Uh, I never did this before, so I never used to manual focus. Uh, I haven't done video before, but with this camera, I actually feel that I uh, want to do it. I'm just looking around because there's so quite a few things going on and I uh, don't want to try and miss a thing. Farlington Marshes, it's uh, quite a big place and uh, it's actually a wildlife gem. So if you have the uh, time and you want to visit strongly recommend it what I'm trying to do now is uh, to get some footage of birds in flight uh, it's not easy to manual focus and also pan to keep the bird in the frame but the image stabilization of Olympus helps me do that even though I haven't done it before and also the tripod, it helps me very well. Uh, so let's hope we get some nice and good footage. Thank you. 
It's uh, funny how I initially wanted to go to Wino, well, Wino Moors. Uh, but the car park was closed and the entrance to the uh, reserve was closed. And I said, well, if I'm still on the way, let me go to Farlington Marshes. And uh, while I was driving, it started to rain and be uh, uh, pretty bad weather. But then it started to light up and it was really sunny. It was really nice and I got really excited. And here I am now. I just had one of my best encounter I've ever had with a little egret. Ah, it was amazing. Uh, I've managed to get some slow motion footage and also some, some photos. Uh, the downside is you can't really get to water level here because it's something like this I mean you could go down there but it's not really recommended uh, but anyway I'm extremely pleased with the uh, with the footage I've got and I can't wait to go in uh, and actually see it on a bigger screen If you are new to the channel, my name is Sam, I do wildlife photography. I've recently switched from Canon full frame to Olympus Micro Four Thirds and I decided to document and film this as a YouTube series. I'm going out and about to uh, test the camera and uh, say my opinions about it. So today I've tested it and not only today, I've been to Richmond. Uh, earlier this week I'm impressed you can use as I, as I said in my previous video it has a, a digital teleconverter two times you can use it on 4k 30 uh, 30 frames per second but if you use it with the slow motion with the 120 frames per second uh, you lose loads of quality I'll, uh, I'll put some videos from uh, Richmond Park now to see and um, you, if you buy the two times teleconverter that should be okay but if you use the digital teleconverter on a full HD and not 4k that's where the footage becomes unused eh, maybe usable but pretty much unusable uh, especially if you combine it with a high ISO I'm not extremely technical, I don't know all the bits and bobs that goes with filming and uh, photography, I just do what I like and how I feel the photo should look, uh, but this is an honest opinion, this is what I think about the camera and this is um, how I feel my photography and videography game uh, is going using this Olympus. And to be fair, I've always been interested in, uh, in trying videography, but I've never had a camera that could actually help me go towards videography in terms of wildlife. 